You're listening to the Epic Success Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Shannon Irvin. And today we're talking all about brain priming abundance. Have you ever thought to yourself, I wish that abundance was easy. I wish that it just came naturally to me. I, I, I think somewhat abundantly, but then there's other times where I feel like there's lack or there's not enough or there's scarcity or maybe other people have abundance, but I don't. Well, today's episode is all about the brain science of abundance and how there truly is the ability for you to hardwire a program in your brain called abundance and to remove that automatic program called scarcity. If you've been looking for the key to truly having an abundance in your life, overflowing, never ending, and knowing that you're going to have more come to you and you could give more away and that it was this beautiful cycle of give and take and that you could release it all and feel great about that release because you know it's just coming back to you. If that is the kind of life you want to live, if that's the kind of business you want to live, if you would love to have abundance in your finances, in your business success, in your relationships, in your health, in your friendships, then today's episode is all for you because today we're talking about the brain science of abundance and how to remove that scarcity program from your brain. All right, here we go. Hey, how are you doing? Just got finished up with a meeting today to talk a little bit more about hardwiring abundance in your brain and how you can start to practice this in your business. If we don't know each other, my name is Dr. Shannon Urban. I am uh, blessed to help entrepreneurs learn how to train their mind so they can transform their business. And I'm excited to be with you today because I uh, want to just chat today all about how you actually can train your brain, train your mind to have a, a pathway, a neural pathway for abundance built. You need to do it consciously. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We talked a lot about some of the blocks that are actually holding you back from the abundance that you want in your life, in your business. Uh, things like jealousy, things like comparisonitis, things like um, not completely and totally committing to the things that you want and then wondering why it's not happening. Can't talk about priming and, and building a neural pathway to abundance if you've got these stories that are hardwired into your conscious subconscious mind that are holding you back because as you've heard me say before 80 to 90 percent of your daily actions and decisions are coming from that hardwired place in your mind so we don't want that we want to remove those uh neural pathways that are holding you back but uh i wanted to talk about this idea of hardwiring abundance into your mind. What does that mean and why is it important? Well, a lot of what I see going on out there in this current culture in entrepreneurism of like, you know, positive thinking and growth mindset and manifestation, all of which are great things, but they can't be done in a vacuum. You can't hold on to 80 to 90% of these stories that I'm not enough, I don't have what it takes, who am I to be doing this and expect to be able to build an abundant mindset with the remaining 10% capacity that you have. You really gotta go after those stories that are holding you back. How can you start to build a pathway in your brain to allow abundance to flow? Well, we hinted to it on Monday a little bit and that is the idea of unwavering belief and putting your brain in the state of being of it's already done and I'm walking to it. Because one of the greatest things about our brains is that the, our brain doesn't know the difference between what is actually going on in our lives right now and what you powerfully imagine over and over and over again as if it's real. You'll see this a lot with like athletes where they're going through tapes and they're, they're really trying to see themselves in the winning shot or doing the winning, you know, moves and that kind of thing. Sorry, you could tell I'm not an athlete. <laughs> but um, we found in research with piano players where we can actually 
uh, do brain priming and you can learn the scales without ever touching a piano. Well, it's the same kind of concept for abundance. If you're, if you think about it this way, if all the time you're sitting and you're thinking, I'm not sure if this is going to work, I'm trying, but what if it fails? You're, you're thinking these things that's what your subconscious mind is going to automate for you, right? That's what it's going to, it's going to take that and it's going to say, okay, she's in fear. He's not sure he has uh, enough, you know, to do this. And your brain then automates that and, and tries to help you become safe by things like self-sabotage or overwhelm or doing things that you're like, gosh, why did I do that? Why didn't I, why didn't I go live? Why didn't I um, pick up the phone and make that phone call to that person? Um, that's your brain's way of keeping you safe. So if you want to start doing the thing, if you want to start doing um, the biggest thing that is vital is to start building up the muscle in your brain, which is a neural network, a freeway that allows you to start believing that it's possible. So this isn't just like wishful, like, oh, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do this. No, this is what we call brain priming in my academy. And this is something that we do vision priming around. We do goal priming around and it's, it's a lot of texture and layers, but you can get your your neural pathway started by just really starting to define what does it look like in your life when your biggest goal is achieved and who are you being what are you doing what do you have how are you showing up in the world and literally writing all that down and then starting to give that to your brain every single day so that it has a path or a blueprint to start helping you it has a it has something to look for for you and if you do this on a daily basis now there's lots of little layers to it I can't possibly fully brain prime with you right now but just the very act of starting to write down exactly who you are you want to be to have what you want to have so that you can do what you want to do so that you can impact who you want to impact just the act of writing that down as if it's already happened and continuing to come back to that every single day, reading it out loud to yourself as your day is starting, is starting like brick by brick, starting to build that success pathway in your brain. Your subconscious mind is programmed with the stories that you've been telling it over and over and over and over again. A lot of times those are on autopilot from childhood and that childhood type thinking is actually running your business and you we wonder like why isn't this working why can't I get what I want to get in my business in my life so uh, hardwiring abundance is all about giving your brain the blueprint the map that you have defined yourself that you're not just waiting for things to happen to you but you're actually really defining it, setting it out into motion, writing it down first, and, and then as you read it to yourself, adding texture and how do you feel and what are you eating and what does that make you feel like? It's just all the things, right? All the emotions, layering the emotion, layering all the texture that you can see, all, all your senses. I, I interviewed Mike Lee once. He's a midweight title boxer. He's also an entrepreneur. He and his sister Angie Lee uh, own the Soul CBD company. And he, but he does title fights. And I, the way he explained this is how I want you to start to use that writing that you would do. It, I asked him, I said, what is it like stepping into Madison Square Garden? You know, it's a pretty an infamous place, right? And he said, you know what? To be honest, it's like when I stepped in there, it was like I'd been there a hundred times before. I'd smelt the air. I I heard the crowd. I tasted the blood, which was gross. But, um, and then he said, you know, so when I was in there, I because I had done it so many times in my mind, it felt so familiar that I just did what I saw in my mind. I did what I did there. And then over time, 
he said it just was so natural to him. So it's the same thing. His brain had already been there. And so winning that title fight became easy for him. And the same thing can happen for you with abundance. So really sit down today, maybe sit down with your family and dream, right? Sit and dream like, okay, if our biggest dreams came true, who would we be? What would we be doing? How would we be serving other people? What would be going on with our tribe? What would be going on with our clients that we serve? What would be going on with our kids? Where would we be spending vacations? How would, what's our house look like? Yes, you can add those things. It's okay, right? How would it be? What's that perfect picture? Have you sat down to define that? Because if you haven't, then the only thing you're doing is being reactionary to an old story that is driving your business. So take this time to jump in with your family or just by yourself with a piece of paper, maybe a glass of wine, maybe a cup of coffee, and just daydream. Write down what will it be like. Let your mind be free of exactly what would you taste, see, smell, fear, you know, feel, be, have, do, all of the above, right? And so often I see so many entrepreneurs living in the reality of This is what I can see around me, so therefore that's how successful I can be. And I can tell you the people that are really super successful, they see years beyond where they are currently and that's how they get to where they are going and that's how you can too. So I would love to know what your ideal final destination looks like. What is it, I I would love to see that and um, I'm going to challenge you to post that out in the socials and tag me on it because if you can start doing, give yourself that gift of starting to dream, fully write it down, give it all the texture and all the color and all the details that you can and give yourself the gift of just reading it out loud every morning before you get started and start to see those subtle shifts as you start to hardwire, build a neural network toward abundance and you will start to see a shift it's it's a process you got to trust the process and we go way deep within my client structure on how to do priming and do all that very detailed but that is a first step for you not many people will do it and so I hope uh, if you've got these big dreams big visions big goals you have a big mission a big calling which I know you do then it is time for you to really to define it And what does it look like? And then give your brain that to think about before you start each day. And that's it for this week's episode of the Epic Success Podcast. Can't wait to see you again next week when we're going to dive into more brain training so that you can train your brain to transform your business. And hey, if you're loving the podcast, I would love it if you left me a five-star review. And if you do, Put it up on socials and tag me so I can share it with my tribe because I really love rewarding fast action takers like you and I appreciate your review and I appreciate you listening and subscribing. So we'll see you again next week. Bye for now.